Are you sure you need all these dinosaurs? Would you get that? the difference. Tad talks a lot. Squared away, mate. You taking a trip? Yeah, I'm going camping. In the woods? Just Junior, a few kids, and a herd of dinosaurs. Now look, you, you take these upstairs and put them back in your room. You have plenty, okay? Come on. You take them. Go. March. The bus is coming. Hurry up. Boys and their toys. What can I do for you? Uh, someone slipped this under my door. I, I don't know. Would you uh, help me read it? Pretty sure it's from Tad. Yes, I can tell by the horrible handwriting. Ah, this would be difficult for anybody to read. Beautiful. Ted. I hurt you so much. I just, I, I'd give anything if I could fix it. I just wish. What? What's it say? Um, it says that they, uh, uh, found some offices in the Harper building, um, which is the same place that the enchantment offices are. And he said that he um, wondered if it's convenient, <laughs> convenient for you to show up and uh, let him take you around and talk some business this afternoon. You see, even if you know how to read, it's not always easy. Will you come with me? I'm sorry, forget it, never mind. Well, what did I say about letting people help? I don't know. I know how hard it is for you to be around him. It's all right. No, it's not. It's my fault. If I hadn't said anything to Tad, then, then I you wouldn't feel like... I feel like I do now. I feel better now than I have in a long time. I'm glad it happened. Glad that you told him that I was going to see him the night before his wedding. I mean, I never could have. He gave us a chance to let everything all hang out. And we did. And it's all settled now. That's Jimmy's bus. Baby, your bus is here! Look, you need help? I'm the one to help you. Tad's no problem. Hey, you. Look at you. You all ready? Great. Here, take this. Wow. Mom, look. That? that looks like a compass. That's pretty neat, but that's Ted's. You know? No, no, he can have it. I can tell the direction by the sun and the stars. Someday I can teach you if you want. Okay. All right, well, then, until that day, that'll point you the right direction. Oh, that's great. What do you say? Thank you. Come on, here, put your thing on. We don't want to get the bus to be late, huh? Let's see. You all set? What in the world is this? Do you have stowaways? Maybe dinosaurs. I need them. Right. Oh, come on, come on, Roy. We're keeping them waiting. We don't like them. All right, give Mommy a kiss. Give Mommy a kiss. Okay. Good boy. Have fun. Stay out of trouble and stay out of the poison ivy. You hear me? Okay. Go, go. Hurry up. Oh, it's really nice of you. Did, did he tell you that he was going camping? No, I always carry it. So why all of a sudden are you happy that Tad knows? Well, I guess because of the suspense. You know, I... It's a great load off my brain, not having to worry about it, you know, the axe falling. I must say I can't handle emotional surprises or explosions. Is down the hall. 
we have a complete state-of-the-art video studio. Surround sound works. Something wrong? I'm sorry, it's just... This isn't some trick. Test the new secretary. You look exactly like Mr. Martin. Do I? Uh, yes, we know that. Um, but it's not a trick, really, trust me. So, where is Mr. Martin? I'm sorry. I'm sure he's on his way. I'll tell him you're here the moment I see him. Please, make yourself comfortable. Thank you very much. This is some captain's cabin. Mm. I'm sure Brooke did the decorating. The taste is impeccable. I don't know if I'm impeccable, but it's nice. Great view. Ted Rossini? What do you think? Fancy. Oh, you'll get used to it. Why not? Why not? Not bad for a guy who can't read, huh? High time, don't you think? Maybe. So, do you like it? Sorry I'm late. Got hung up by some unexpected domestic. Let's see. What are you doing here? Well, you know, I've always wanted to learn about winemaking, and I thought this was my chance, so I sort of nudged my way in. Are you joking? You can never tell the difference between muscatel and nitrate. Late bloomer. <laughs> Well, listen, you know, I, I thought this was going to be one-on-one, -on -one and, and you know, we've got a lot of ground to cover, so I'm sorry, but, uh... Don't mind me. Really, I, I'm going to be just quiet as a little church mouse, really. Pretend I'm not even here. Can you do that? I've, uh, got some stuff for you. When I was out in Napa, I put some of Noah's things in a box. Uh, kid stuff, mostly, maybe. You'll remember some. Maybe I won't. Yeah, well, I, uh, threw some letters in here, too. I know for sure you want to read this. Well, that's really very nice of you to bring some mementos of Noah's and letters. Well, that's, that's, that's really great. You may want to wait to read that, though. I'm sure it's going to be kind of emotional, and you don't need an audience. Absolutely, Dixie and I could wait in my office. No, no, she's right. I'll read it back at the motel. Okay? Whatever you want. About this. Thanks. It's nice. Yeah. Well, let's get to work, shall we? You're going to have to learn with the corpus corporation structure and budget. Here we are. Hmm. Looks fascinating. Yeah. Um, well, um, someday this will all be your job. But for now, I am the president. The great kahuna buck stops here. Uh, now, I work very closely with the board of directors. There's also vice presidents in charge of uh, production, finance, marketing, uh, advertising, planting, fermentation, futures, and research. Huh. Sounds like so much. Which uh, chart is it? Uh, uh, this one. Here. Oh, look at that. Well, that's really all laid out so neatly. Uh, production, financing futures, marketing and advertising, research development, operations. It's really quite remarkable. So these Vice Presidents, are they a bunch of loads? Come again? You know, deadbeats, figureheads. No, no, the, um, the Board of Directors are most definitely not figureheads. They're part of the reason why Orsini Vineyards is so successful. This symbol here, does that stand for the Board of Directors? What? I'm talking about the, the chart, the symbol, does it stand for the Board of Directors? Dixie, would you mind telling me what it, just, what the hell it is you're really doing here? What in the world is wrong with you? 
No, no, that's my question. There's nothing wrong with me. How long have I known you? Too long? Let's just say a long time. That's the way you want it? Fine. And in all that time, have you ever given a damn about business? No. Now all of a sudden, here you are. Gee, it's so neatly laid out. Fantastic. Remarkable. Well, I'm terribly sorry I don't meet your low expectations. You know, you may have known me a long time ago, Tad, but there's still lots you could learn about me. You're kidding. You used to fall, fall asleep watching the, the, the business plots on Dynasty. Now all of a sudden you can't get enough of the inner machinations of a, of a board of directors? Give me a break. Why don't you give us all a break? What is really going on here? I'll tell you. I promised to teach him the business. Well, then go ahead. No. I'm bending over backwards to be fair about this. I'll be damned if I'm going to teach you along with him. Excuse me. I was curious. You're curious. You want to know about the winemaking business? Fine. Take a correspondence course. And you, if you want to find out about the winemaking business, you deal with me, one-on-one -on -one or not at all. <laughs>